Hello there, welcome to another unboxing and it is an unboxing this time rather than a bag uh, This is the landing Gallipoli 1915 uh, It's a subject that interests me again a lot, obviously it is, otherwise I wouldn't have got the game um, But this game is something I've not seen before I'll let you read the blurb on the back at the top to start with and it's a different system I've not seen before. I was a bit dubious, I have to say, when I uh, I first saw it and I thought, mm, uh -huh. no game board. Uh, well, it, well, there is a kind of game board, but it's made up of cards. Um, if I come down here, you can read this as well. You can see this. Um, and, but uh, when it arrived and I got this well, last year, later on, I, I, I opened it up and unboxed it and had a bit of a play through. And you know, it's excellent, it really is. The system works really well. Um, I was surprised, I was pleasantly surprised by it. So it is an excellent game. I'll just come out a bit and we'll take the lid off this box. And it is a box, it's only a thin or inch thick box. And inside we have three green dice, uh, a blue and a, a, a maroon coloured, uh, oh, there's more, there's two uh, counters. Um, we'll come to the cards in a minute. These are the counters. Uh, for instance, these are some of the Turkish ones. There's no great information on it, except to show you that it's uh, an infantry unit, or down at the bottom right there, the guy who's in charge is a, a sergeant. He, he's basically used to track uh, morale and stress, but uh, he's, a bit, he's, he's like the head honcho. The Australians, they've got a, a lance corporal leading them. Um, and the counter is exactly the same on the other side, there's no difference, there's no step losses or anything. So that's them. Let me just get some of the, the Australians out. So there's our Lance Corporal in the middle, the Australian unit, and the New Zealand unit. And they're the, they're the counters in the game. The terrain. You get these action cards, which you have to draw you have so many into your hand and you have to play these cards. Um, and it decides, and it, it shows what you can actually do, whether you can attack, whether you have to move back. Then you get the unit cards, for, such as the Indian Artillery, the Auckland Battalion in the New Zealanders, Ottoman 57th Regiment, etc. And there's our Australian 11th Battalion with our Lance Corporal. So they're the, the game pieces for that way. But then you've got, this is the turn, turn track, basically. There's three stints in the day for you to get your troops ashore and capture. So Anzac Corps, dawn, noon and dusk. And then these are the terrain cards. You start off, I'm, sure you, I'm not getting this very well organised, am I? You start off by landing up, well, no, you don't, you come in on the boats, but I'll show you the boat card when we get to it. Now, to land on the beach, and then you don't know what you're going to get, you draw half a dozen of these terrain cards, you flip it over, and you find out this is the neck. So that's the first place you'll go after you leave the beach, is the neck, and there'll be two enemy soldiers on that counter and then you so you have to beat them before you can push on then we've got shrapnel gully this one doesn't have any enemy in so 
So hopefully you'll be able to push into that one with with the, with no problem. Russell's top. We've got an enemy soldier on that one. And so it continues through these terrain cards. Um, back on ship up. There's the boats and there's the where you start. That's your very first card with you put your counters on. And then there's a couple more terrain tiles. Mule Gully and Gun Ridge, each with their, uh, however many of the enemy are. And the rules are very simple. Um, it's, it's a clever system. I wouldn't have imagined it would have worked, but honestly, it does. Uh, you can see the game laid out there, so the Australian and New Zealanders come off the boat onto the beach and they have to fight their way through six terrain pieces basically in this in the you know in the in a day to capture this. Um, and you have to play the various cards, the ops cards, uh, in the solo variant, obviously the Ottomans play them. You've got to defeat their troops while you've got to get your troops ashore in two ways, the Australians first. The New Zealanders arrive in a second wave, but if you're moving your Australian troops along and taking wounds and hits, you can't forget your, your, your New Zealanders, you've got to bring them up behind you as well as a second force, otherwise you'll find yourself, um, you suddenly find yourself cut off and uh, unable to do anything and, you know, you've left the New Zealanders on the beach, you know, so you've got, you've got a lot of thinking to do, you've got a lot of strategy to play with these cars and you only get four possession so you've got to use them carefully you can see here that the, that the uh, New Zealand has come in at noon and you also have one for the the cars for the Indian artillery which uh, plays a part so it's a very clever game and it, 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 it really it really is good I, I wasn't in, I didn't know what to expect I'll be quite honest, I didn't know what to expect from it, but I was very, very pleasantly surprised. This is an excellent game, a simple game. There's the back of the box. Um, it's just an excellent game, I, I can't say any more than that. Um, and, and it's different every time, there's always going to be different, well, there's only going to be a limited amount of terrain, but you only get six of the terrain tiles to fight across. You may get an easy go, you may get a really rough one. But, uh, yeah, an excellent uh, little solo game. You could play it, obviously, uh, against an opponent as well. It'd probably be better against an opponent, but it, it solos perfectly fine. So, that's... Oh, what tip you up, because all my cams are in. But that's the Land in Gallipoli, 1915. And it's an excellent game. Bye for now.